The obstacle is the way. Now, I've taught hundreds of thousands of people and I have tens of thousands of students who have learned from me. And I've learned one thing very clearly is why people succeed and why people don't succeed. Now, in entrepreneurship, the failure rate is commonly known. It's over 90 some percent, probably over 95 percent of people won't make money online. In becoming a YouTuber, 99 percent of channels will never go over 10,000 subscribers. In affiliate marketing, 99 percent of people will not become successful affiliate marketers. For Amazon, FBA sellers, 99% of people will never earn more than a fry cook's salary selling products on Amazon. So most people fail in marketing or any business. And I'm going to be going over a lot of the common reasons why people excuse themselves for failing and what we can do about that to make sure that you're not one of these failures and help you understand how the obstacle that you perceive in your head may actually just be the way to succeed. And I'll explain that in just a second here. Okay, okay, so here are some of the excuses that I hear for people not succeeding, okay? They're in the wrong country, right? I've heard this over and over again on my channel that you can't make money in, you know, Nepal or India online, or you can't make money in Zimbabwe or, you know, Netherlands. Another excuse I've heard is that you're not the right age. You're 13 years old or you're 300 years old, whatever that is. Tech skills, not having enough technical experience to start an internet business, not having enough marketing experience to start a internet business, not having any money, not having any time, not having a computer. I've heard every single excuse in the book. And the fact of the matter is, is that no matter what, you only fail when you decide you fail. Most people allow the different obstacles that come up to be the reason they don't succeed. 99% of folks allow the obstacles to stop them and they never succeed. But if you want to succeed at being an entrepreneur, you need to look at the obstacles. You need to address them head on and you need to say, how can I find a way around this? Most people look at the obstacles and they get scared. Most people, 99% of people, look at obstacles and they say, I can never overcome this. Most people, 99% of people, look at obstacles and say, I probably won't ever be able to get around this. That obstacle is real. But as an entrepreneur, you need to be able to bend reality a little bit. You need to not even bend reality. You need to understand that for every business, for every worthwhile treasure that you can create for yourself, there's a way to get it, but you're going to have to go through many obstacles. And it is a sign of how much of a man or a woman you are to get there to get around these obstacles. Now I can address all of these super easily, but the fact of the matter is I don't spend my time addressing a lot of the obstacles with folks on my channel because no matter what, if you create an obstacle in your mind and you believe it's real, it's going to be real. There's an obstacle in your mind and you say, I can figure out a way around this, you will figure out a way around this. Now, let me just rattle off some really quick ideas of how to get around stuff. First off, no time is such a big excuse. Most people waste so much time on the internet, on YouTube. If somebody is watching a YouTube video, you have free time. If you are watching this YouTube video, you have free time. And I challenge you, look at the amount of time you spend on your phone each day. Measure yourself down to the minute for a week. How much time you spend on social media. That includes texting people. That includes phone calls, that includes, you know, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Measure down to the minute how much time you spend each week doing stuff like that where you could be working on your internet business. And one thing I did was I got a flip phone, okay? I replaced my phone with a flip phone because I cannot run any apps on this phone. This is so slow, I can't even use the internet 
on this phone. The battery lasts a really long time too, which is a great side benefit, but this doesn't distract me. If somebody needs to call me, only a few people have my phone number and only a few people can contact me and it goes through this phone. So do things to help yourself get more time back. This has given me back probably about an hour to an hour and a half every single day because I was addicted to checking my phone, to checking my messages, to looking at social media, to scrolling endlessly through Facebook and Instagram and looking at just nonsense. So get your time back if you don't have any time. Most people waste a lot of their time. Having no computer is not an excuse. Everybody in the world knows somebody with a computer, okay? Or else there's usually public computers in every country which you can use. Computers can be bought for cheap nowadays if you just spend a little bit of time working up to buying a computer, if you make it a goal of yours. Having a computer is very important for starting an internet business. I'd say it's almost a requirement. It's for sure a requirement to go through courses like mine, but it should not be an excuse. It's something you can work towards. If you have a smartphone, you can start an online business. But really, if you have a smartphone, you can afford a computer. Other excuses I hear people say is they're not in the right country. Easy solution, use a VPS server. There's, or apply to another affiliate network. There are hundreds of affiliate networks. Most of them accept anybody from anywhere in the world. Another excuse I hear is not being the right age. This is again, just totally a mental thing. Age doesn't matter in doing affiliate marketing. Nobody really checks for age in starting an online business. Yet I have a lot of 13 year olds that follow my channel that believe that not being 18 years old for whatever reason is a stopping point. It's not on the internet, yet people choose to allow these beliefs to become obstacles and reasons for them to not get ahead, very false belief. Another excuse I see people saying is that they don't have enough marketing skills or experience running a marketing business so they can't do this. And the fact of the matter is you'll never have enough marketing experience. You'll never have enough marketing skills to feel comfortable if you don't feel comfortable right now. There was a certain time where each one of us had no experience talking to the opposite sex, you know, or dating people, you know, being in a relationship. But over time, what we do is we just jump in and you have to practice, practice, practice. You don't learn how to swim by reading a book. You learn how to swim by jumping in the water and trying to swim. Okay, so the same thing goes for marketing. The only way to learn anything in business is to just go jump in there and do it. Again, don't be scared because we've been trained by society to be scared of doing things where we can't do perfectly, to not make mistakes. Don't let society tell you how to think. Think for yourself. Again, you just have to dive in. That's it's common sense. And last but not least, one of the largest excuses for getting started in any business is not having any money. And this can seem very real to many people. They don't have enough money to start. And it's been one of the reasons why I focused on my channel that you don't need money to start an affiliate marketing business and showing people ways that you can start an online business for free. In fact, you can start any business that you want for free if you find business partners, if you find joint venture partners, if you find investors, there's always a way to start any business you ever want for free. You have to look for those ways to do it. If you believe the excuse that you don't have enough money, you'll never have enough money and you'll never get started. And really it's not worthwhile to watch any sort of business YouTube channel. You should just just move up in your job. Be the best employee you can possibly be. But again, if you want to make it as an entrepreneur, you can't believe the excuse you don't have enough money or else it really will become real and it'll stymie my everything you do in life. I used to believe a lot of these excuses myself. I used to think I was too young to do marketing. I used to think I wasn't good enough. I didn't have good enough skills to do marketing. I used to think that I wasn't interesting enough to be on YouTube. I used to think that I'm not smart enough. I don't have enough skills. I don't know programming and all these things were gonna hold me back. But once I realized that I can do anything that I set my mind to, once I got the confidence and realized that 
the world is my oyster, that our creator, however you want to believe it, has a higher vision and a higher purpose for each one of us, you'll realize that the path is actually paved with gold and there may be obstacles in the way. It is your mission here on this earth to fulfill your purpose and to help as many people out as possible. Maybe that's just your family. Maybe that's starting a big company and giving lots of people in your community jobs and helping those people support their families as well. Maybe it is saving animals and taking your income to save and support a bunch of animals. Maybe your mission is to change people through the product you sell or you, you know, with other people. Whatever that mission is, if you allow obstacles to hold you back, if you believe the obstacles, you're never gonna be able to fulfill your ultimate purpose. The path is paved there for you. The obstacles are to keep away the non-so-serious people. All of these obstacles I've mentioned, these obstacles keep out 99% plus of folks from ever reaching a meaningful level of success from ever reaching a level of financial freedom. These obstacles are here to help you succeed. These perceived obstacles are here to keep the other 99% of people out so that your path to exponential success and financial freedom is sitting there for you waiting. Don't believe the obstacles, believe in yourself. And also, as always, like this video for the YouTube algorithm. Comment below if this helped you. Comment below if you believe any one of these excuses or let me know what excuse you used to believe. No time, no computer, wrong country, wrong age, tech skills, marketing experience, no money. Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see my Monday live streams. Every Monday I go live and answer questions and give answers to folks in regards to affiliate marketing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Have a good day.